Well, Lorenzo, we first talked to uh, Virginia Congresswoman Jennifer Wexton, but we also have these opening statements from both the acting police chief and also the House Sergeant at Arms. Now, that acting Capitol Police Chief Yogananda Pittman says there were 1,200 officers around the Capitol that day, not to mention the 100 D.C. Metropolitan Police officers who rushed in as reinforcements at the beginning of that riot. But the chief adds that their numbers were, quote, no match for the tens of thousands of insurrectionists, many of them armed. She does not believe any preparations would have allowed for a legal protest of the same time the rioters struck the Capitol. Now, the acting House Sergeant at Arms, Timothy Blodgett, says the Capitol building has too many access points that there was just a communication breakdown within the police during the attack. Congresswoman Jennifer Wexton of Virginia heard both of those and talked to both of those police leaders at the Capitol closed door hearing today. I was surprised that they had this intelligence, uh, you know, that there was going to be a mass gathering and it could turn violent and they didn't take it seriously. You know, they didn't take the steps that they could have to really, you know, make sure that everybody was protected and that the worst case scenario didn't happen. Now, despite the deaths of two of their own, both during and after the Capitol attack, the Capitol Police really views the defense of the Capitol as somewhat of a success story because none of the members of Congress that they were trying to protect were physically harmed. Now, these hearings are going to be continuing on through the coming weeks, and this will be a developing story that we'll be continuing to cover. Reporting live, Nathan Baca, WUSA 9. Yeah, still